Hello Gemini, welcome to your monthly love reading. We're going to be looking at what's been going on in your connection, what you're thinking about each other, and what's coming up in the near future here. So let's jump right in. Messages for Gemini, please. What do Geminis need to know regarding love? As always, this is going to be a general reading Gemini, so it will not resonate with every Gemini watching. If this doesn't resonate for you at all, check out my playlist for Gemini. I'll have it linked in the comments. You might find a video there that better suits your situation. So we got religious factors and retreat. Again, same message I've been getting for Geminis for so long. Um, I'm thinking of divine timing with religious factors. For me as a reader, this card usually tells me that spirit is involved in some way. Either spirit is guiding this or someone's intuition is speaking to them. Fate, you know, all of those things are kind of factors in the connection. And then we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I'm, I'm picking up from here that this is... A connection where you are not together or someone has retreated and then bottom of the deck if you don't I mean just to sweeten this up and confirm everything I just said we have worth waiting for <laughs> divine timing is at work in your love life so that is the message um, I love when that happens okay so let's get the tarot I'm going to be doing a spread that I've done in the past that gives us past, present, and future energies as well as um, a little bit of your energies and their energies for Gemini. Oops. Let's try that again. For Gemini spirit, what messages do you have? Messages do you have for Gemini regarding love? One more. Keep seeing the sun. going to cut the deck and pick the cards out that way. The recent past, we have the Ace of Pentacles reverse. How you are thinking or feeling. Five of Cups reverse. And then we have the Moon. Pisces energy. Present energy, we have the Three of Cups reverse with the Six of Cups reverse their energy six of swords with the eight of cups reversed i'm laughing because this is such a clear message and then in the future we have the tower holy crap okay gemini you recently had a bonus reading that i did in early march um where you had a tower and it was in the near future like spread as well um so I just, I'm fascinated by these cards that I've gotten here because I feel like this is just, you know, and I hate to sound like a broken record on my channel, but I cannot control the cards that come out, that choose to constantly come out. There are 78 tarot cards. And then when you add reversals, you know, to times that by two for the type of messages that I could be getting here. And it's always the same type of cards. It's always the same message. And you know, some of these cards, you can only interpret them in one way, you know? So we're going to clarify all of these. Um, but basically what I'm seeing here is um, the past is an interference. So, so whatever happened in the past, it could be someone from the past. It could be a situation that happened in the past. It's currently interfering in this connection. Um, I'm also getting that there is a delayed reunion here due to what happened in the past as well. So take it how it resonates. On your end here, I have you wanting to just overcome the past. Um, maybe you're missing someone and you want to get them back. Um, maybe you've been thinking and thinking and thinking of the past and just kind of want to move on from that. Um, but with the moon here, there's like uncertainty, doubt, um, confusion. Uh, there's a lack of clarity. You're not sure about something. Your person 
This is the Six of Swords with the Eight of Cups reversed. This is someone leaving a situation and either returning to a situation they left or they're leaving a situation and they're delayed from doing so. You know, the past position have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is all about uh, some sort of loss here, a broken commitment, um, a commitment that was withdrawn, possibly some sort of offer that was taken back um financial difficulty so either you or this person um this is what's been going on in the recent past and in the recent or in the, not the recent the near future we have the tower so this is something sudden unexpected this is a shakeup, um a crumbling foundation so we're going to clarify all of these and get some more information bottom of the deck i have the five of swords reverse another card about um you know whoever was trying to get away with something wasn't able to if there was some sort of conflict or uh, fight um, you know someone's kind of like putting down the fighting or no longer wanting to fight maybe even thinking about apologizing for what has happened or reconciling here and right behind that we have the four of cups so this is a card all about kind of um, being uninterested dissatisfied closing your self to new opportunities because you're all already thinking about the three of cups i think this might be you gemini i think despite what has happened in the past this could even be both of you um you're not interested in something new you're only interested in what is already in front of you or you've closed yourself off to something new because you can't focus on anything new right now you're just focused on what's in front of you Knight of Cups Reverse, this is a card about heartbreak, disappointment, yeah, and then the Ten of Swords. So this is, again, a similar story. I feel like this is someone who, um, this could be you as well, um, I feel like this is regarding your ending with this person. I think you're both marrying each other, or at least one of you is still hung up with what happened. So let's clarify these energies. Actually, I want to put down some oracle cards on either for for both of you here just to get some sort of an idea of what your energies are in this connection i'm using my stellar energy oracle deck this is available in a link in the description box spirit tell me more about the energies of gemini and this other person tell me about gemini's energy tell me about gemini's energy please Oh, this one kind of flipped far apart. So another card about distance, separation. Um, there's a divide between you. That's that retreat card. Um, you feel far apart from this person. Um, this could be a long distance connection for some of you. Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with. What are their energies? What are their energies, spirit? Sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. A sudden realization has brought new clarity. Remember when I was saying about the sun that I was seeing when I was shuffling? This person has had a sudden realization and I feel it's causing them to leave a situation because their energy is all about departure here. Hmm. We move these over a little bit so your person has clarity they know what they're doing you on the other hand don't there's something you're not sure about or you don't have clarity about we're gonna find out okay so let's clarify spirit help me clarify these energies please for Gemini Show me clearly, please, for Gemini. In love, April 2021. Look what I'm seeing. The Tower and the King of Cups. Okay, let's start here with the Ace of Pentacles reverse. What happened with this Ace of Pentacles reverse for Gemini? Is in the recent past it could also be the distant past because you know time is fluid tell me about the ace of pentacles reverse 
page of cups and the eight of wands okay so someone wants to talk um i feel like someone wants to talk about what happened or tell you you know if this is like a broken commitment here they might want to tell you about you know a broken commitment that they had with you or with someone else and i say that because i have the three of cups reversed bottom of the deck i have the hangman river so this could be somebody that is um becoming unstuck or has not been able to sacrifice up till now let's go in here into the present or the current situation why is the three of cups reverse there could also be um some sort of communication or apology that has already happened here between you and this person. Um, and it's kind of guiding everything else along. But I feel like a lot of you, there's a disconnect because I got two cards here about like being far away um, and then the moon. So I feel like you haven't talked to this person. Um, this could be that someone has recently made the decision to do this in the recent past and you're just not aware of it. Why is the three of cups reverse? Okay. This was kind of sloppy, but they're telling me to take them. So six of cups reversed again. Five of cups reversed again. <laughs> and the hangman reverse. Okay. This is all connected. This is all connected. This three of cups reverse, as I was saying, this has something to do with the past. Um, this could be somebody coming home. Uh, the six of cups, maybe they left and they wanna come back because the six of cups is a card about returning, coming home, um, memories, nostalgia, you know, the past. This could be a past soulmate. I feel this hangman is the problem here. This hangman and the past. Tell me more about this. Well, actually, let me clarify the six of cups. Tell me more about this six of cups reverse. Why is the six of cups reverse? For Gemini. Is the six of cups reverse? Nine of wands reverse. Why is the six of cups reverse? justice libra energy so something is going to be fair to you balanced or to them also because this is what's happening in your connection so that your both of your energies could be here someone wants to have justice with the past is what i'm seeing um there could be a legal situation happening with a past person or in a past you know regarding a past situation Okay, I'm not going to take these, but I'm going to look at them. Three of Swords reversed, Two of Cups reversed, Wheel of Fortune reversed. I feel, yeah, there's... It's just something hasn't been able to progress here with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So this is something that maybe the timing isn't right, or it's been very difficult to move forward. Someone could be stuck in a cycle here. I feel it's regarding some sort of a partnership. I'm starting to think this is a third party situation. There's someone else involved here. And this has been a running theme lately. It doesn't have to be another romantic partner. Jeez, I keep dropping my cards here. It doesn't have to be another romantic partner. Um, it could just be like a family member, a friend, an ex. Ten of Cups, a family situation. Yeah, Five of Wands, there's multiple people here. There's conflict happening here and that's why justice is necessary to make things right, to rebalance things. Tell me more about justice. Okay. 
Why is Justice here? Oh. Bottom of the deck, the two of cups again reversed with the ten of swords reversed. So what's at the bottom? This is someone that is still thinking about what already happened. Once again, this is the, this is just the message that I'm getting. You know, they're not focused on, and I feel this might be you. I feel like you've been waiting for justice. And all this time that you've been waiting, you haven't really opened yourself up to anything new. Because there's something I feel that's pulling you into the past. If this isn't you, this is your person. But I, I'm picking up that for a lot of you, Geminis. This is you. So let's get into your energy. Why is the Five of Cups reversed? Why is the Five of Cups reversed? Five of Cups reversed. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, this is you thinking... Um, being withdrawn, listening to your intuition, seeking answers. I feel like you've been in deep thought, introspection. Why is the Five of Cups reverse? The Knight of Wands. You're thinking of action? Maybe seeking answers about your next move here or someone else's moves. I feel like you want something to happen here regarding this other person. But you don't you don't know all the facts or you don't have the the clarity that you need. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Libra, a Pisces. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Nine of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you're wondering if someone is still attached to something. Tell me about the moon. Do they feel the same way? Six of Pentacles. Uh, maybe you've been giving too much energy to this or wondering about... If this person can give you something, why is the Six of Pentacles here? Again, we have a scale here, which is making me think of justice. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, you're, you're wondering if this person can give anything to you. Um, Can they give you something solid? Can this work? Can this happen? I'm picking up for some of you, this is happening behind the scenes because of the moon and you're not aware of this. This person could be trying to rebalance their life, but right now they're attached to something. They're not free. They're not independent. And so they can't give to this connection. And that's probably why this Ace of Pentacles reversed is here. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? For this person. Now, Gemini. Now there's the King of Cups. I'm telling you. Um, I have you on this side. And have your person on the other. It can be flipped, so flip it if it resonates. King of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Swords. I saw him earlier. There's a reason that Spirit tells me to look at the deck when I shuffle. Judgment reversed. This person, um, I feel like this realization, this sudden realization took some time to get to this person. Actually, let me put this up here. I feel like this person, um, this judgment, uh, their judgment was blocked, basically, until they had this sudden realization. This was necessary. This sudden realization could also be a tower moment for this person. 
Tell me about judgment reverse. Why is judgment reversed? Five of Pentacles reverse. This is about recovery. If, if this person wants a second chance um, or, or wants to overcome a difficult situation, I feel like it was delayed for this person. And then I have the higher font at the bottom of the deck. It could have been because of another commitment or because they wanted to do the right thing or they were giving in to pressure from outside sources. But this King of Cups, they are very in tune with their emotions. They're emotionally mature and balanced. Um, so I feel like this King of Cups now knows that their judgment was blocked or they made a bad judgment call. And now they're focused on a recovery here. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Two of Cups reverse. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? The sun, I'm telling you. Clarity. This is that sudden realization. And there's the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like their intuition has been speaking to them. Also, they could be thinking or having this realization in secret. Um, they're not speaking about it. Tell me about this two of cups reverse. This person could be returning to what truly makes them happy as well with the sun. But what I'm picking up on is clarity. Tell me about the two of cups. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have the world. It felt just like that. So yes, remember when I said that someone was stuck in a cycle? The world is in limbo. I feel like this person has been trying to close the cycle i have the higher font again at the bottom of the deck taurus energy this person has been trying to close the cycle and begin a new one but there is delays here um, it could be another partnership it could be that the disconnect between you is making this difficult maybe for example this person hasn't talked to you in a while and they're worried about coming forward you know But I feel like for a lot of you, there is some sort of interference here related to the past. So what's this tower about in the near future? Why is the tower here? This is something unexpected, surprising. Why is the tower here? The moon. <laughs> okay. And then the three of pentacles reverse. So again, I feel this is going to be a shocking tower because I have the moon here. Someone seriously, I feel, is going to be shocked. Uh, the three of pentacles reversed. I feel like this is related to a third party interference or I don't know. I'm getting something like um, if this isn't a third party interference, then I'm getting this is someone that has been working on something and it just has not come together yet for them. So there's more work needed to, you know, maybe a do over here as well. Why is the tower here? Spirit, why is the tower here for Gemini? King of Wands reverse. Yeah. The, um, the devil reversed at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. I feel like this is someone that um, they're dealing with a difficult person or maybe <laughs> Wheel of Fortune reverse. The, yeah, there's going to be a lot of um, the timing, guys. There's something with timing here. And I know we've gotten that message for Gemini's before and I've gotten some comments about like Gemini's can't be patient. And as a Gemini Sun and a Gemini Venus, I completely understand. Uh, but uh, this is part of the journey, right? We have to trust in Spirit's timing because they know things we don't. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, I got the Ten of Cups again. Can I get one more for this Three of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse? Oh, you can't see my cards. Hold on. There we go. Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse? Seven of Pentacles. Yes, this is someone that's worried um, if something's going to work out, if all of the fruits that they've, you know, all the all the work that they've done, if it's going to pay off. There's doubt here because of the. This could even be somebody thinking, okay, whoever's interfering here, they're going to make things difficult. Will I be able to deal with this and be successful? Um, I feel like there's someone here that's angry, upset. This King of Wands reverse. Tell me more about this King of Wands reverse. Why is the King of Wands reverse? Oh my gosh, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Tower again. So I feel like this King of Wands reverse... I feel like someone's going to make a decision regarding this person. Maybe this is someone that's trying to get a lot done and, and they can't. They can't keep up with everything that's happening. This tower is going to happen by surprise because someone's hand, I feel, was forced. Almost like they had to choose. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? What's this about? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, Seven of... It's like they were literally backed up against the wall. You see what I'm saying? Like they had to defend themselves. They had to fight back. And I think it led to a tower. Interesting. And I feel like this is your person. Uh, thank you so much for watching, Gemini. I hope this resonated for you. I hope that this reading is, you know, giving you some sort of insight. If it didn't resonate for you at all, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Feel free to check out the playlist for Gemini. There'll be more information there. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe also if you'd like to support the channel for free. I really appreciate everyone that does that and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.